Hello beautiful people, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. My name is Winifred and you're welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to make this free eye neck bubu kaftan. It has a shoulder pad and this dress gives a gorgeous lift to your look, alright? It is very, very easy to make. You can make it in less than an hour if you get the cutting right. So without too much talking, let's get to the honey of this video. I let's go. love you. Hey beauty, welcome to my channel. So I used about 5 yards of fabric for this design. And then I folded it into a cone. Like the way we fold our half lay. I folded it like so. And I left about half inch on, the, on this side for the back joining. The thing about this dress is that it doesn't have any joining on the sides and it has no joining in front so the only joining is at the back so that is why we le i left the half inch while i was folding so that i didn't fold it fully i left that half inch right there for the back joining and then i folded my triangle so now once that is done the next thing you are going to do is to mark out your shoulder measurement divided by two that is to you know get the point where you are going to place your shoulder because when you are sewing this kind of dress you need to place your shoulder before then cutting the rest of the dress you can't just cut the neckline like that so now i'm placing my shoulder measurement divided by two and i'm determining that straight line so once that is done i'm going to measure out from the top to where I marked where I just marked with my pen to mark to see the length at which I used for the shoulder depth yes. so I'm going to add that to the full length the full length I'm working with here is about 55 inches so the from that top to the point where I marked is about 12 inches so I'm going to add 55 plus 12 if your full length is 16 inches you're going to mark you calculate your full length plus the point that you marked out for your shoulder and you add it to your full length and that will be the full length of the dress so you are going to measure from the top this from this point where the the pull is starting from up to the down to your length you are going to start measuring it all around and for me this fabric that i folded is going to have a joining at the down part because the measurements i have the fabric cannot accommodate the whole measurements that i have but for now that is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be marking out the measurement of the full length that i've calculated and that is what i'm going to be marking out if you are new to my channel you are welcome welcome to the family of beautiful people you are powerfully welcome thanks for tuning in if you are not yet subscribed kindly click the subscribe button join this family of beautiful people join this family of creatives share my videos with your family and friends give my videos a like it encourages me it makes me believe that you like what i'm doing i want me to do more all right so thanks for joining and do well to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos that I'll be posting in the future. Thank you. So now I've gone ahead to mark out the straight line. I hope you were watching what I'm doing. So I, I've marked out the curve of the full length of the gown and then I am cutting it out right now. So you can see the space, the space in at the front that is not going to make it to complete the four fold so we are going to be joining to that side so once i'm done cutting trying to move my fabric upward so you can see what i'm doing clearly and then i'm going to take a piece of fabric i'm going to just place it on that point that is you know missing out right side facing right side 
when you cut your fabric there will be a small piece that we have some one pointed edge so you can just use it and join it all around don't forget that the front does not have any joining so you are just going to join it all around and once you are done you align it properly and flip it to the other side as you can see me doing this video so you can see where you are going to cut out very well and then you are going to cut it out neatly but make sure your fabric is well aligned so you don't miss waste all your fabric remember this this design you know you need a lot of fabric for this design so you have to be very careful you don't need to rush you have to be very careful when you are making this design and trust me it's going to come out perfectly this was my first time making it and it came out beautifully well I even made it for a plus size the person was not even in nigeria and it came out beautifully well so take your time be patient align your fabrics properly and you will definitely get it so once we've done we've cut out the the piece i'm trying to align it properly again so that everything can be set So now see when you get to this point you'll be trying to get a straight line to you know to make sure that your shoulder is very straight on this part but you you will not be able to get it so the first thing you are meant to do is to join that back part together with your half inch sewing allowance so that it can be easy for you to cut out your neckline because if you just cut out your neckline directly you are going to be getting a funny v instead of a round shape so after joining the back from with the back part like as you've seen then you are going to you know fold it make it flat such that the back that you joined is in the middle and the front is at the front just if you don't understand what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing see i already opened it up and the front is you know the back is just at the back and the front is at the top then you look for a very a very you know straight point you don't need to measure your back measurement you just measure somewhere smaller than your back or shoulder measurement and then draw a straight line and cut it out so by the time you fold it back to your triangle it's going to be lying down flat and you'll be able to cut out a perfect neckline so after i did this i folded my fabric back into my triangle folded it back to my triangle and then i already cut out my shoulder measurement at this point i already recut it you know earlier we didn't cut our shoulder measurement but now i already cut out my shoulder measurement and don't forget you are going to measure out the neckline from that point where you joined your back so i'm going with a neck width of three inches and a neck depth of one inch for the back because this is a plus size that is why i'm using three inches if you are on a smaller size you should use two or 2.5 inches for a total neck dress so because this is for a plus size i used a neck width of three inches and one inch depth for the back and a neck width of three inches and three inches depth for the front so now the remaining from the nip of my neck width I'm, i just measured out the remaining and it was about 6.5 so i noted that down that is what we'll be using to determine the length of our shoulder pad by the time we are done so after that i'm just going to measure i lost some clips so now i had to take it back and show you how i cut out the sleeve opening so i measure that from the point where my shoulder started from up to where i want my sleeve to start from plus half inch seam allowance and then i measured out my round sleeve divided by two i looked for the midpoint i marked it out and then on that midpoint you just go up by half inch that going up by half inch then you connect it with a curve see i'm trying to show you again here because this sleeve is still going to have a band so 
I just wanted to stop like three inches before my wrist and then I added half inch to that and then I measured out my sleeve up round divided by two and then I just connected it with the cuff you know when you get to when you measure the midpoint you take one inch upwards and then you just connect it with the cuff and then you have your sleeve opening like that so now I've opened it up I've joined the shoulder together I've joined the shoulder and then I opened the back by four inches because it's not going to have a zipper it's a free dress so I just opened the back by four inches I'm going to be adding a button to the back so that is it after I've joined my um bishop collar so I'm just going to be adding a button to the back part so now what you're going to do is that that point that you joined at the down part you have to open it up the place you sold open it up iron it properly very well then you iron it on the right side too so that it's not going to be giving a funny look and it's, it's people will hardly know that you even joined it if you iron it properly so now the next thing i want to do is to i want to put the band on the sleeve area so i'm just going to take the sleeve cut that i i did on the dress i'm going to measure it all around and that is what i'm going to be using to cut out the band so i've cut out the band of three inches three and a half inches in length because i'm going to be using half inch to join it i folded it into four and everything is on the right side there's no wrong side so this is how i folded it folded it one and i folded it second time so you're just going to measure out your sleeve round and you are going to use it to join it after joining you're going to attach it to your sleeve opening like so to join it on the side and then you attach it to your sleeve opening right side facing right side you know that the band is already on the right side so you are going to face it on the right side of the opening too and that is it that is how it's going to be looking all right so now the next thing i want to do i'm going to go ahead to attach the um i've gone ahead to attach the band and i've attached the bishop collar i'm going to be doing a separate video on how to make a bishop collar or and also how to make a shoulder pad so you should stay tuned but you can also use a ready-made shoulder pad mark out the midpoint and then attach it to your shoulder the only thing is that you know our shoulder was about 6.5 inches make sure that your shoulder pad is like one inch or half inch shorter all right so that it doesn't extend to your neck so as the shoulder is was 6.5 inches the shoulder pad you'll be using should be like 6 inches or 5.5 inches so that it doesn't extend to the shoulder pad i used here was about 6 inches and then i attached it you can either sew it on the shoulder line or tack it down i prefer to tack it down and so i am tacking it down right now don't worry on sunday i'm going to upload another video on how you can make your own shoulder pad because i did this shoulder pad myself and it came out really really beautiful so i filmed it and i just don't want this video to be too long so that's why i separated it so on sunday i'm going to be uploading it so you will learn how to make your own shoulder pad so what I'm just trying to do now is that I'm tacking my shoulder pad in strategic places. Make sure that your tacking is very tiny. You don't want to tack it anyhow so that it's not so obvious that you tack something there. You have to do everything you are doing neatly and then secure your thread multiple times. So now we are done with all of that we are done what's the next thing i'm going to do now is to give it a very very good place and i've 
bought some appliques this particular one retails for nine thousand naira, and i also bought other smaller ones which is about two thousand naira per yard and this was the final look i also added some cloth tones to this and it was really really beautiful the customer liked it she really really loved it and it was so beautiful and uh thank you guys for watching thanks for staying tuned please subscribe till i see you in the next one i love you and i care bye Papa.